the vast majority of our tuition came from loans and grants. But let me tell you, every month, my father would write out his small check. He was determined to pay his portion of that tuition right on time, even if it meant taking out loans when he fell short. See, when I first set foot on campus, oh, it all seemed so big and overwhelming. I didn't even know where to start, how to pick out the right classes, how to even find the right buildings. So I began to think that maybe all those doubters might have been right. I didn't even know how to furnish my own dorm room. I saw all these other kids moving in all sorts of couches and lamps and decorations for their rooms, but when I unpacked my belongings, I realized that I didn't even have the right size sheets for my bed. Mine were way too short. So that first night, I stretched the sheets down as far as they could go, and then I draped the covers over the foot of my bed, so when I crawled into bed, my legs were sticking out past the sheets, rubbing up against that cold plastic mattress. And I slept that way for the entire freshman year. But when you come from a family like mine, that's what you do. You, you make the most of what you got. Yeah, you... You use all that good common sense and you don't make excuses. You work hard and you always finish what you start. And, and no matter what, you give everybody a fair shake. And when somebody needs a hand, you offer yours. See, those are the gifts my parents gave me, their values. And I quickly learned that those gifts were far more valuable than money or connections. Because I, once I got to college, I found that when I applied all those values to my studies, I was able to set, develop an entirely new set of skills that would, I would use for the rest of my life. Skills like resilience, problem solving, time management. I learned to turn stumbles and missteps into sources of motivation. A week with three tests and two papers wasn't a reason to stress out, but a reason to plan. A negative comment from a professor in class wasn't a reason to shut down, but a reason to ask even more questions. Most importantly, I realized that what really mattered wasn't how much money my parents made or what those people in my high school said about me. What mattered was what was in my mind and what was in my heart. So, my four years in school gave me the confidence to know that if I could make it on a college campus, I could make it anywhere. And that is the power of hope. The belief that something better is always possible if you're willing to work for it and fight for it. It is our fundamental belief in the power of hope that has allowed us to rise above the voices of doubt and division of anger and fear that we have faced in our own lives and in the life of this country. Our hope that if we work hard enough and believe in ourselves, then we can be whatever we dream, regardless of the limitations that others may place on us. The hope that when people see us for who we truly are, maybe, just maybe, they too will be inspired to rise to their best possible selves. Elite Ocean View Realty, passion that changed real estate.